Welcome to Lightboard Learning, where we break down coaching principles. Now today, I'm gonna to have a chat to you guys about NME or neuromuscular efficiency and how you can use it to provide some insight and personalization in the way you prescribe OPEX gain or resistance training with your clients. Now I do want to be clear that this is not a black or white answer, but what it is going to give you is again some insight into your client's essence and whether they are more powerful or more enduring, which will help you design uh, the program design and make sure it is appropriate for them. So first of all, what is neuromuscular efficiency? Basically, it is our ability to dig deep. How deep can that person go into the nervous system to complete the task at hand? And the way that we test this at OPEX is with a back squat test. So basically, we'll have our client do a one rep max back squat. We'll have them rest for 10 minutes, and then we will have them do as many reps as possible at 85% of that back squat. So let's just say, for example, their back squat one RM is 100 pounds rest 10 minutes, 85 pounds on that bar, let's see how many repetitions you can do. Now, what we look at is whether someone is low NME, which actually means they're able to do a very high number of, of uh, repetitions and their neuromuscular efficiency is very low, or that they have high NME. They're able to do a very low number of repetitions, but they are really able to dig deep and they have very high neuromuscular efficiency. So on the low end, let's just say this client was able to perform 20 repetitions at 85% of their load, of their uh, one rep max. When we go to design their program, if we are looking to give them a strength endurance dose response from their training, and we give them like three sets of three reps at 85%, they're gonna get very little from that because they're able to do 20 repetitions and they are incredibly enduring. So prescription for them is gonna look a little bit different. Uh, they're going to do a lot more volume at a relatively higher intensity relative to their one rep max compared to someone that has a high NME. This person over here, they can do two reps, they're 85%. So if I give them, you know, let's call it five by five at 80%, I am gonna blow this person up and they probably just won't be able to perform it. So their repetitions, their volume is gonna be lower and the percentage that I prescribe relative to that is gonna be lower as well. So maybe we'll have them do three sets of three reps at, you know, let's call it 70% of their one RM and that's gonna be a more appropriate strength endurance dose for them. So I hope that uh, you can take some value from this and use NME as just one tool to personalize your resistance training prescriptions.